Uh, coming to you here from Cleburne, Texas. Got an uh, in-person outing for the first time this year involving a baseball game. A few autographs to show off in there. So uh, several of these guys, former uh, minor league prospects, a few guys are actually made to the show there as well. So uh, go through and just show you off what we got. Uh, so Kurt Smith is actually the first guy that signed for us pre-game. He's able to get two cards signed by him. There's one right there. I'll show you the second one there as well. I uh, also saw David Vidal out there, who is a uh, former member of the Reds organization, if I remember right. Looks like, yeah, Pensacola right there on that card, so there you go. And got him on the, uh, what do you call it, pro debut card there, too. Continuing on down, uh, Carter Hope only had two cards made, as far as I know, but got uh, two copies of each of those signed. Boom, there you go. Check those out. And let's see here. One more that I was able to get pregame, and that was a former Dodgers prospect in John Ritchie. Yeah, he had a few cards in there. there. So there's one see there. Uh, let's see. The Black Border one right there as well for the Bowman set. Also got him on the Chrome version and the regular version. And of course, you can't go wrong with the minis either. So there you go. That's what we got pregame. Uh, Postgame, we're going to try to see if we can get the uh, Cleburne Railroaders then. I've also got to see if I can try to get hitting coach Tommy Gregg if I can there for Lincoln. I uh, didn't want to sign for us pregame at all, so uh, see if we can get him. If not, then you know we'll try to get the Cleburne side, see if we can get the guys outside if we need to. Something like that. we got a lot of options there. So, there you go. Alright, we're here in Cleburne. It is currently the top of the third inning. 1-0 the count, one out, bases loaded for the Lincoln Salt Dogs. And now 2-0. Gunnar Buhner is at the plate right now. Jay Buhner's son. Right on the mound right now, 76 pitches to this point. He's allowed two runs already this inning. Six runs, six hits, one error by Lincoln. Two runs, three hits, two errors for Cleburne. 2 0 delivery goes in the dirt and it's 3 0. Right walked the last batter already with the bases loaded to bring in one of those two runs. He's in danger of doing the same thing to Buner right here. Give me a quick look at the stadium here while we're in between pitches. A little bit more of it at least. Now right comes Sets, so we'll come back to the action here. He kicks and fires, and high strike makes it 3-1. and one. Right struck out 3, walk 2 thus far. Seems like it's been more than that. I know he also hit a batter in there as well. So once again, right comes Set. Wind and the pitch. This one's skied toward right center. It feels under, it makes the catch. Throw coming home is going to be all the way to the plate, and they got him at home. Fly ball and a throw out from right field to end the inning. 8-2, eight, eight so center fielder actually coming away with that one. And so there you go, a heck of an ending to that inning right there. So keep it right here, and uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit more info about uh, whatever we'll get in the way of autographs post-game. Yeah, right now it's 6-2 as we're in the middle of the third. I just realized how weird it is seeing the letters C-L-E on a scoreboard and not have it stand for Cleveland. This is totally blowing my mind right now. All right, it's post-game. Didn't quite go how I hoped it would. Um, they advertised they were gonna have a signing upstairs in this uh, restaurant bar type area with all the players, and it's like, all right, well, hell, we'll go and do that then, no problem. I mean, it keeps us out of any uh, potential rain and stuff. Unfortunately, I, they didn't say exactly how much the team was gonna be there, and it really wasn't a whole lot. So uh, I ended up only getting one player inside and then uh, tried outside, but I think a lot of the guys who didn't go upstairs had already left by that point. So uh, yeah, the only player that I was able to get was outfielder Zach Nairer. I had one card of him, so there you go see that and so we figure you know what I had no luck on Tommy Gregg the hitting coach for uh, Lincoln inside so I figured you know what let's try out by the bus the bus was still there I figure I'm just gonna wait see what I can get I've got nine cards of him here with me most coaches are good about signing a whole ton like that and uh, well Greg inside before the game just completely ignored me when I asked him then uh, I asked him just before the uh, anthem he said oh, I'll, I'll get you after the game so I'm like all right cool no problem so after the game, I go and wait down by the dugout, call out to him. He kind of looks at us and walks right on by. It's like, dude, you said you'd sign. This is this is ridiculous. So 
I said, you know what? Fine. I'm going down by the bus. So I went back, waited by the bus, asked one of the players as he was going back, and I said, hey, is Tommy Gregg still inside? He said, yeah, he is still there. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll at least have a chance there. So from that point, I figured, you know what? I'll wait, see what we can get. Finally, he's like the last one out before the bus leaves. He's talking to somebody, and he sees me there. He's like, all right, fine, comes over. I hand him my cards, and I figure, you know, he'd at least sign you like two or three, something like that. He signed one right there. Um, not the greatest autograph I've ever seen from him either. If you compare it to ones he's signed online, it's like, oof, okay. So, not sure what that was all about, but, well, hey, at least I got him on one, so I'll take that, and... I think Lincoln comes in at least once more this year, so might have another chance at him then if I feel like, you know, waiting until 11 o'clock at night out by the bus again on a Sunday night. So there you go. First in-person outing in a year and a half. It was October of 2019. It was the last time that I really got to go out and uh, do a baseball game, at least. I mean, it's a little different because I did, you know, did that hockey event, got uh, Andy Pettit at that one, uh, just kind of quick hit and run mission there. And I had uh, Toby Hera at a uh, paid signing, but it's the first baseball game I've been able to go to in a year and a half. First, I've gotten autographs from one in a year and a half. It's good to get back on the horse again there. So hopefully we'll have a few more of these coming up throughout the uh, baseball season. Hopefully we're going to have some more uh, TTMs coming up this week, starting on Monday, right after this. All right, it is Monday. So you saw my uh, outing yesterday over in Cleburne, about 45 minutes from here. Today, a TTM right here, just one to talk about today, and it comes from South Jersey. Initials on this one are BJE, and this one is one that I knew was coming in because uh, the player messaged me about it and said he had dropped in the mail. It's from a former indoor soccer player. This is Billy Joe es or Bobby Joe Esposito. I'm going to see in here. Used to play with, oh, geez, let's see here. I was with Cleveland for a while, um, LA. Not sure who else off the top of my head, but those are at least the two big ones. I can uh, find names more here once I take a look at the back of the card here. Um, Hey, well, Cleveland and L.A. are the only two that I know of, but I eventually played for a couple of other teams as well. Note back here. Okay, now I'll just uh, fold up the paper there to uh, give a little bit of extra protection to it. But he did sign both cards that I sent to him. So a couple more additions. Well, one more addition for the 8889 Pacific MISL set. Over 100 on that one now. There's, uh, I think it's 112, 113 autographs total that I need for it. Three, photo, or three cards have the wrong photo on them, so I'm getting those signed by both players. I've already done those, but yeah, I'm up over, I think it's. I think this makes 101 maybe, something like that that I'm at right now. So missing about 12 more to go on that set, but coming along quite well and uh, very happy to add those ones in. Took a little while to be able to find him. I knew he was in uh, out in New Jersey somewhere, but didn't know where off the top of my head and finally found him on Facebook and messaged him and said, yep, send him on over. Here's uh, just find my office address here and sent there. So... Great stuff. Glad to get those ones back, and hopefully the start of a uh, very good week in the mailbox. We'll hopefully have more right after this. Hey, everybody. Tuesday, the 25th. One item in the mailbox here. Postmark from Macon, Georgia. Initials under KD. I believe this is going to be a uh, another edition for the Diamond Kings set here with former Cedar Rapids Red and Cincinnati Red, Cal Daniels. Paid $5 for this, and yes, indeed, that is who we've gotten back here. So, there you go. Great stuff right there. Been uh, wanting to add him for a while, and I saw he was signed for only five bucks. Like, all right, yeah, let's let's go ahead and send this off. So, there we go. Really happy to add that one in. So, once again, a short day today. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, we'll have some more coming up uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, something like that here coming up, and have those in right after this. All right, it is Thursday, the twenty seventh. Uh, no mail yesterday on Wednesday. Got one in today that I was not expecting to see here, but it is postmarked from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and the initials on it are JG. You can probably guess exactly who that's going to be. That should be Juan Gonzalez. Find out here real quick. Sure. Right. It is Juan Gonzalez, and those turned out exactly like I was hoping. Sent uh show you this one first, of course. Say, uh, this is what, 92? So 93, I believe, Diamond Kings set on this one. Yep, 1993 edition says there. A couple others, but this is the one that I'm happiest with. So back in, when did this set come out? This set came out in 96. And I didn't buy a whole lot of the baseball set when it came out, but I bought a ton of the hockey because they had it at my uh, local CVS. I remember getting it there, it was like a buck fifty a pack, and uh, second pack I pulled, I got this $50 insert in it. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm hooked for life. So uh, I was thinking about getting one of these ones signed from the baseball set, and so... Uh, did so, found one of the Leaf Preferred Steel cards of him. Yes, that is a 
metal card right there. Got that one signed by Gonzalez. Came out very nice, real happy with that one. So, there you go. I think I'm set on one Gonzalez Sigs for a while now. I mean, this is probably about the third time I've written him over the last 10 years. I'm good. I'm good on that. So, I've also got this big old thing right here. This is uh, a purchase from Sport Lots. This is going to be going towards some upcoming ball games. Going to be going to. Uh, Hoping to get to about three games in the next uh, about three weeks or so. None this weekend, but uh, going to try to do two next weekend and one the weekend after that. So, stocking up on some cards to hopefully get signed at those. I'm going to see if I can get into this real quick here and uh, show you what all I've got and who all we're going to be seeing, hopefully. Boy, this is really sealed off well. That's good. I don't remember which dealer this is, but it's somebody off Sport Lots. I bought from five different dealers this time on Sport Lots, so, uh... Alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. Get this one. Ah, not quite. Okay. I'm gonna go nuclear option here and just see if I can cut through. Worst comes to worst here. Yep, there we go. Found the end. Find this end, not quite, of course. I was even thinking just as I was starting this, oh yeah, I should undo the tape here before I start uh, filming. And I didn't. Almost there, though. Almost there. Or not. Oh boy. Alright. Last piece. Right here, I think. I hope. Animal. Okay. Up, up, up. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we got this. There we go. All right. This may be my big order. So I had a. Uh, had two fairly big ones and then a couple smaller ones in there. Who's this one? Dealer here was uh, S. Castro 1. So, yeah, this is, I think, my big one. This is, yeah, 91 cards total in this one. So, whew. But, yeah, very, very well packed. I mean, you saw the uh, bubble mailer and then these three bricks right here. So, yeah. Where do I start? Let's go with this corner here. Take down real nice in here. All right. One freed. All right. Second one freed. And the fast part now. And third one also freed. There we go. All right. So, give you a quick rundown of everything that I got here from this uh, Sport Lots purchase. A little more tape. More tape. There we go. Get that one off of there. All right, so, <laughs> a little bit more work than I was expecting, but all right, who we got here? So, excellent left card of Logan Verrett in my uh, card there. Unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately for him, unfortunately for me, he got uh, picked up by the Mariners, so won't be seeing him at all, but um, hopefully going to be able to have a chance at some of the uh, Northwest Arkansas players, so Nick Prado and MJ Melendez right there, a couple of Royals farmhands. Uh, going to be seeing Casey Gillespie. Hopefully, so got a bunch on him coming in. Of course, need some Frisco guys, so Hans Krause and uh, Josh Stowers, both uh, right there. Got uh, coming through with the Kansas City Monarchs is going to be Dean Dietz, who is right there. No matter. Got a Julio Pablo Martinez, Alec Thomas, a couple of guys that uh, Martinez, of course, is a Ranger farmhand, and Thomas with the D backs. Hopefully, going to be seeing. Um, I think it's going to be on Friday the 4th. I'm going to go and see if I can get Frisco and uh, Amarillo up there. Is it Amarillo? Yeah, it's Amarillo. 
Frisco and Amarillo. Um, Tom's being with Amarillo there, so see what we can do there. And then the next day, it's going to be uh, Cleburne and the Kansas City Monarchs down in Cleburne. And then next weekend, it'll be Northwest Arkansas that I mentioned before. We also picked up some cards here of Alex Spees, Davis Wenzel, Tommy Henry, Dominic Fletcher, another Dommy Henry, Geraldo Perdomo, Cole Wynn, Jake McCarthy, Noah Bremer, uh, Nick Treviso. I got a whole ton of him because he's with Kansas City now. Uh, let's see here. Some more of Spees. We've got Joe Gatto, as in the pitcher, not as in the member of Impractical Jokers. Uh, let's see who else here. Morgan McCulloch. He's another one who is with uh, Kansas City, I believe. Uh, let's see. Some more Treviso cards in here. Got a Gabriel Guerrero. Cousin of Vlad, I believe, or nephew of Vlad. Cousin of Vlad Jr. More Casey Gillespie stuff. Uh, Joe Gatto in there as well. Move on to the second pack here. And yeah, that is also taped down quite well. There we go. Oh, yeah, I got some more Casey Gillespie. I'm hoping that he may have softened up on signing a bit since the last time I had a chance to get him in, I think it was playing against Grand Prairie. He was not big on signing, so see what happens there. Uh, let's see, Johnny Field, another Kansas City Monarchs outfielder. Got uh, John Hernandez, who I think is there, if I remember right. He's somewhere with one of those teams. I forget which one now, but I've got it all written down elsewhere. Dylan Baker, former Indians farmhand. He's with Kansas City now, so hopefully get that one signed. Um, Ozzie Martinez, who's with uh, Cleburne as their shortstop. And Travis Denker, who's a coach with uh, Amarillo, I believe. Nick Evans, who's either with Amarillo or Northwest Arkansas. I think he might be Northwest Arkansas, but not certain. See, Jared Godert, another former Indians farmhand. He's now the manager there in uh, Frisco. Scott Thorman, who's the manager of Northwest Arkansas. Let's see here. And some of Abraham Nunez, a coach there. That's the former Pirate and Philly Abraham Nunez, not the former Marlin. And we got Jeff Andrews, who's the pitching coach for Frisco as well. Last pack here. There we go. Fortunately, this uh, tape isn't like super sticky and leaving crap behind, so that's really good. I've always said before that I prefer when sellers use uh, painter's tape, but at least whatever packing tape this guy used, it's coming off real easily, so good on you there, Chief. All right, moving along through here, we've got uh, this one has Stone Garrett, Austin Dean, and JT Riddle all on it. Stone Garrett is with, uh, I want to say that he's with Amarillo. I could be wrong on that. That's one of the other one of those ones. Bug in the air. That's fun. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to find there was one duel here. Those oh yeah, one duel I was looking forward to, especially here. That's the Jake McCarthy and Alec Thomas right there. Have to put those guys on the same board if I remember to. Uh, let's see here. We've got a couple of Alec Marsh coming in. Uh, Brewer Hicklin as well. Mentioned Wenzel, we've got a Diospel Arias right there as well. Uh, Tommy Henry, some more Johnny Field stuff. Bubba Thompson. And I think that's about it. Nobody else that I have not yet mentioned. Oh, there we go. One more to mention. That is uh, Luisa Alexander Basabe. And I think I actually have that card already signed. I think I got it done in Birmingham in 2018. So... But there you go. There's a whole stack of stuff to take with me for the next few weeks to go with a pile that I've already got pulled for it. So, uh, I mean, three games in the span of about a week, week and a half. So, uh, maybe multiple games. I might go to try to go to a couple of them there to make sure I can knock out some of the stuff. Because uh, everything I've heard lately from Frisco is that they're not allowing anybody to sign inside the ballpark. So, I may be having to go and get a team post game one day and get a team post game the next night or something like that. We'll see what happens when I can fit into the schedule and all that. But, at the very least, I got a lot of stuff to work on there. So, fun stuff there, a TTM in, yeah, there you go. Thanks for tuning in, hopefully we've got some more to come here on Friday and Saturday, right after this. Alright, it's Friday, gonna make this one quick, only one envelope here, and I believe it is from a purchase on Sport Lots. 
And I can tell you right now, it's one that I am, uh, if it's where I think it is, I'm not too happy with the postage on it. So I'll get to that in a minute here. I want to make sure of who this one is first. But as I said, I bought some stuff uh, about a little under a week ago, a little over a week ago, give or take, somewhere around there, for my uh, potential outings here that are coming up next weekend. So I had to buy from five different sellers to be able to get all the cards that I needed, and even then came up kind of short, and let's make sure of who this is. So yeah, this is from the seller 6 Garvey 6. Um, there's a total of 13, was it 13 or was it 10? 10 cards that I purchased from him for $1.92, Plus two dollars and eighty cents shipping, and uh, if you look at these env these uh, stamps right here, those most definitely do not total up to two dollars and eighty cents. That is seventy five cents of shipping cost right there. Seventy five cents to ship these, and he charged me two eighty for shipping. Wow! And uh, here's the shoddy packaging job. It was wrapped in a piece of paper there that had the uh, invoice basically on it, and then wedged into these whatever the hell these are, three at a time, oh, four into that one, lovely. Uh, let's see, how many into the, each of these here? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, four into one, three into another, and then probably three in this one. So a terrible packaging job and charged me uh, more for shipping. Okay, well, what he made off the shipping is basically doubles what he made off the cards. So, wow, that's uh, that's really great. Um, Positive note, though, these are cards of guys that I did not have yet, so I had to get those anyway, but don't don't double the shipping on that if it's not necessary. I mean, come on. 75 cents a ship got charged $2.80 for $1.92 worth of cards. That's or $2.80 in shipping for that, so you get what I'm trying to say. I paid $1.92 for the cards. I paid $2.80 on top of that for shipping. It's only 75 cents to ship. He basically made $2.05 off gouging on shipping, which is completely ridiculous, but anyway, so who we got here? We got a Scott Thorman, Derek Lewis... Travis Denker, a few coaches right there. Brian Ellington, who's playing for the Kansas City Monarchs. Another Ellington there. Steel Walker, who is with the uh, Frisco Rough Riders. Dean Dietz, who's in Kansas City. Darnell Sweeney, who is with Kansas City. And MJ Melendez and Nick Prado, who are in the Royals organization with Northwest Arkansas. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the shipping gouging there, Chief. But, uh, yeah, got Saturday coming tomorrow. Hopefully, we got some uh, TTMs coming up here uh, right after this.